This is Joy Paris with Rich Girl Network TV, and we're on the set of ABC Family Switched at Birth. I've been switched. That's the scoop. <laughs> so your character, and tell me about what's the most exciting thing for you being on the show. My favorite thing about being on the show is the people that we get to work with. We spend 12 hours together every day anyway. Yeah, and you know, a lot of shows people don't necessarily love each other, the cast members, and we love each other. It's so good. We're so lucky. <laughs> I think um, on this show, our whole idea, our whole message is that every family is different. And I don't know anybody who has switched to birth, but I have friends that were adopted. Um, I know families that are, are unique in their own way. And, and I think everybody's family is unique. And I think that the take-home message from our show is that you just need to express love in every way that you can. And, uh, you know, if I found out that I was switched to birth, I'm not giving up my family. My family is my family. That doesn't mean that I can't love more family, but I'm not giving up the people that I already have. And, and I think that that's a beautiful thing. Uh, I think the other thing that we, we try to accomplish is that um, everybody's kind of the same. You know, I think, I think it's very common to, to be uh, hesitant or resistant to things that you're not familiar with. So, for example, being that sign language is the third most common language in the United States, which is a statistic that a lot of people are unaware of because the worlds are so separate. The worlds are so right. segregated. And right. we can come into uh, your living room every week, every Monday. Come in and check out what it's like to be a deaf person just for an hour. And and I think that you can be exposed to those types of things and, and create a broader understanding of what everybody's going through. So, again, it's just about spreading love and it's spreading awareness and, and just letting people know that it's different. Being different is okay. Being different is good. How did you um, learn sign language? Was it difficult for you? I learned sign language in high school. Uh, I needed a foreign language to graduate, and I, I picked sign language. I found out later on that I have a hearing loss. So it was sort of this serendipitous thing that I had a hearing loss, and I already knew sign language, and I was trying to be an actor, and then all of a sudden this show came up where they needed someone with a hearing loss who knew sign language, and I was so lucky to be in the right place at the right time. That is a great, great story. Goodness. So your character, um, her arc as she moves forward, where, how do you see that evolving? I think um, going into this season, my character was sort of had just led this revolution at her deaf high school and created avenues for, for fellow students that weren't there before. And she really feels like she can make a difference in this world. And I think she goes into this, uh, this set of season and, and she feels empowered and she feels strong and she feels like she can make a difference. And so, um, she's going into this with that in mind. And I think that's cool. I think that's, you know, it doesn't matter how young you are. You can make a difference in this world in, in your own small way. And maybe that snowballs into something bigger, but affect a change and don't be afraid to try. Are you a similar in character to your character that you play? I think so. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I, think you are. <laughs> I really like Daphne. You know, I, I think that she's, she's a girl who's trying to do the right things. That being said, She's still in high school, and she, she's a little boy crazy. So I think she gets around the boys, and maybe her decision-making is a little uh, different and, and maybe not necessarily what it would always be. But I think she's always trying to do the right thing, and I think she's, she's looking out for people the most of the time. Well, let's ask da Daphne a question. What is Daphne's um, ideal guy to date? <laughs> Daphne is no stranger to the eye candy on Switched at Birth. Like <laughs> there's a new boy who's in this season and I think he's going to be very interesting for her he uh, challenges her in, in a few ways and, and lets her know that you know she's got a little bit to learn in this world and he's sort of a hobbyist he, he picks up a new hobby once a month and uh, he picks up the hobby sign language and she's like you can't learn sign language in a <laughs> month whatever but he does, and she goes, oh, crap, you're cute, yeah, and you sign? Awesome. <laughs> Everything she wants, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I've been asking all the, the cast members about their fashion style, the character's fashion style. So what is her style? Daphne sort of has two looks. She's got the professional put-together dresses and skirts and sweaters and scarves and accessories. And then there's her tomboy side, who's definitely just jeans and a T-shirt and... You know, maybe some earrings or something, but pr pretty low-key. So she kind of goes back and forth between the two. I think I'm somewhere in between. I'm a little bit girly, but a little bit sporty. And I am not afraid to throw down and, you know, play some hoops or something awesome. And, you know, I'm not afraid to get dressed up and get all ee as well. <laughs> so where would Daphne shop? Um, Daphne would 
Daphne would probably do most of her shopping, like, probably like Nordstrom or something like that. Me, personally, I'm a Nordstrom rack girl. Oh, yeah. I'm all about the sale. Mm-hmm. All about the sale. <laughs> it was so much fun talking with you. So one more question before we wrap up. Um, you have a pivotal role, and it's a wonderful community that you're reaching out to. How do you see what you do on the show impacting other people in the community out there? I think Switch to Birth has incredible power to open doors for the deaf community. I think that we have the insane ability to to expose people to a language and a culture that they normally would not have otherwise seen. And I think that being able to reach both of those communities and both of those audiences, I think we we can go a long way in, in bringing everybody together. That's fantastic. Tell everybody, um, time, network, and when the show airs. So we are on ABC Family, and we air Mondays at 8 o'clock.